Hey, how's it going? I'm going to tell you about a few basic algebra rules today. I'll tell you about combining like terms, multiplying through parentheses, which is the distributive property, and adding and subtracting expressions. Expressions are basically um, like 3x plus y as an example of an expression. Okay, let's start off with combining like terms. Let's, uh, let's say you have an example. Let's say 6w plus 7w. Well, let's say I have, uh, let's say w is the price of an item. And I go to Target and I buy um, six copies of Mario Kart. I like Mario Kart. And, um, and then later I realize it's just not enough. You know, you need more. So I buy seven more copies. And the question is, what's the total price that I pay if W is the price per unit? Then, uh, well, if you think about it, it's basically the same as if I bought 13 copies the first time, right? And so really what I'm doing is I'm just adding up the coefficients, 6 and 7, 13, and um, I can simplify the expression. Okay, so the general rule is to say that if I have some coefficient, c times any um, variable, or it could be a set of variables, really, plus some other coefficient times the same variable or set of variables, then I can simplify that expression by adding the coefficients together and just writing the variable once. So usually you won't end up writing the plus sign. You'll actually do the addition because it's coefficients there. OK, let's try a few examples. First, 3w minus w. In this case, this coefficient is 3, and I can think of this coefficient as negative 1. So I can write that out, 3w. Uh, I can say minus 1 times w, or I could have written plus negative 1 in parentheses. This is parentheses. 3 minus 1 is 2, so the answer is 2w. Now, in this example, I have x squareds instead of just a single variable. But because each of the terms being multiplied by a coefficient is exactly the same, these count as like terms. That's why it's called combining like terms. So I can take these coefficients and add them together. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. And then I keep the x squared. In the last example, I have x minus x squared. In this case, one of the terms has a squared and one of them doesn't. So can I combine them together? No, I can't. It's, a, it's actually kind of a trick question because they're not like terms. So in this case, the best I can do is just write x minus x squared. That's the simplified answer. OK, cool. Let's try out multiplying through parentheses, which is also known as the distributive law or the distributive property. OK, the first example, 3 times the quantity 2 plus 1, well, it's clearly the number 9, but I'm going to use a graphical representation of the numbers to work out this problem in a slightly different way. So normally what you might do is you might say, OK, well, I'll add up the 2 and the 1, and I'll get 3 inside the parentheses times 3. And I can think of that as a rectangle with three rows and three columns. So the area of the rectangle is 9. It represents the answer. But another possible way to do that would be to break it down into the left-hand side of the rectangle and the right-hand side of the rectangle, which would look like this. We have 3 by 2 plus 3 by 1. And I could write that as the multiplication 3 times 2 plus the multiplication 3 times 1. OK, so I turn this whole expression into this expression right here. OK, let's try one more example. 3 times 4 plus 1, well, I know by just thinking about it that that's 15. But again, I can sort of draw the rectangle that represents this. So here, one. So here, this is 3 by 5, so the area is 15. But I could also break this down so that I have a 3 by 4 rectangle plus a 3 by 1 rectangle. And I could think of this as 
3 times 4 plus 3 times 1. Okay, so you might start to see a pattern between the beginning and the ending of what I'm doing. So in the next example, 3 times the quantity x plus 1, you could guess maybe that I'm going to say 3 times x plus 3 times 1. And to simplify it all the way, the total answer is 3x plus 1. The general rule is that if I have something uh, multiplied by a parenthesis term where there's addition, then what I can do is I can multiply the coefficient on the outside, I'll call it a, times each of the terms inside the parentheses one at a time. So this first term is a times b, and the second term is a times c. And if I had b plus c plus d, let's say I had three terms inside, then I'd have a times b plus a times c plus a times d here. Okay, and that, that keeps on going however many terms are on the inside you have on the outside as well. Let's try a few more examples. Let's simplify 7 times the quantity 2a plus 3x. I'm going to get 7 times 2a plus 7 times 3x. I can simplify that to 14a plus 21x. For the next example, 3 times the quantity h minus 2 is equal to h plus 2. First, I can multiply 3h, and now I have a minus sign here, so I have to keep the minus sign. One way to think about that is plus negative 2. And I'll have uh, plus 3 times negative 2, and that's still equal to h plus 2. So I can simplify a little bit further by doing the multiplication here. So I'll have minus 6. So these two are equal to each other. I can subtract h from both sides. And what I'll end up with is 2h minus 6 is equal to 2. OK, great. Now I can add 6 to both sides. 2h is equal to 8. And if I divide by 2 to both sides, I run out of room here, but the answer is that h is equal to 4. OK, finally, I want to mention adding and subtracting expressions. An expression is basically something like 3x plus 2y. Uh, any mathematical um, addition or multiplication term with some variables in it, basically. So the main idea here is to combine like terms. And when you have longer expressions with more than just a few terms, sometimes it's easy to write it as uh, um, vertically as a multi addition table. So in this case, like this. And now I can think of the coefficients here as 2. And I can think of it as either minus 1 or plus negative 1, either way. And I end up with 2 minus 1 is just 1 times y. And here I have 3. And the coefficient here is 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4. So I have 3x plus y is the answer to this. OK, let me show you an example involving a subtraction instead of an addition. I have the quantity a plus 2b plus 3c minus the quantity a plus b plus c. The first thing I'm going to do is rewrite the second part as plus negative 1 times the original expression. Now I can use the distributive property to rewrite this part only as negative a minus b minus c. What I did is I multiplied negative 1 times each piece. Now I can rewrite that whole thing as a plus 2b plus 3c plus negative a minus b minus c. Think of each of these pieces in, as in parentheses. And I'll have 3 minus 1 is 2 for c. 2 minus 1 is 1 for b. And then 1 plus negative 1, they actually cancel. So I'll have 0 here. 0 times a is just 0. So the final answer is just b plus 2c.